Alrighty, Lee Cole here. I hope you're doing great. You should be able to hear me and see my screen. Could uh, someone say yes and yes, or if you can't see one of those, say yes and no or no and no. Hear me and see my screen. Awesome, Ake. How you doing, buddy? Hope y'all are having a wonderful day. Thank you so much, Steve. Hope y'all are having a wonderful day. I'm really looking forward to this week's little Q&A webinar. Real quick, I started this. This has been something that I've wanted to do for a very, very long time. I'm a super busy guy. I run two businesses, but, but I know how much benefit that something like this can be for you guys. And I was finally able to commit to it. I didn't want to start it the Monday Q&A thing. I didn't want to start it and then not, you know, and then stop it a month later. That's stupid. But uh, I wanted to really be able to commit to it. And uh, I'm really excited about this. We had an awesome webinar last week. Talked about, if I remember correctly, prospecting for your offline business. Covered a ton of great stuff. Let me do a little more housekeeping and uh, then we're going to dive right into it. Two things. One, it's a Q&A webinar. I've got uh, some questions that people sent in through support. I'm going to hit the first one of those first, which is about LinkedIn. But please, if you have a pressing question, go ahead and start typing it into the chat right now. Because if I can get in more than one or two questions, I'd really like to. Two, these are all being recorded and they're all available on YouTube. Let me show you how to get there. If you go to the same link that you went to to sign up for this in the first place, if you will scroll all the way down to the toward the bottom where it says click here to watch past episodes, click that and this takes you to a YouTube playlist. This is the playlist where we're going to have all of these webinars available for you to see. So if you miss something, go back here. Um, you know, we started two weeks ago, so we've got two. This is the third week. Over time, there's going to be a massive ton of stuff on here. Um, but that's the way you can see this. Also, while you're here, just click on my name. This will take you to my channel where you can, it, it looks different because I'm logged in, but where you, there, there's a subscribe button down here. So subscribe to this channel while you're at it. And uh, I think we're good to go. So you got a question you want me to talk about? Let's type it in right now. And while you do that, I am going to talk about one of my favorite things, LinkedIn. And this all stems from, uh, let's see if I've got the person who asked this question actually on the webinar. I think I remember your name. I don't believe so. But uh, this all stems from actually a couple of questions I got from people um, during this past week, one of which clearly told me that a lot of people still don't know how to build out an account on LinkedIn. And um, I want to go over that. This may seem like too simple for some of you guys, some of you guys who've uh, been on webinars with me, done coaching and training and stuff like that, or bought my other LinkedIn stuff. But I, I, you know, because I keep getting the question, I think that there's a lot of, there's a lot of people who don't know, and it's a perfect Q&A type thing. So let's talk about how LinkedIn works Anyway, okay, because in order to understand how you're going to use LinkedIn, you know, what, 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 what the best practices for using it, you have to actually understand how the stupid thing works in the first place. So let's just click here. See how I did that? So I went to LinkedIn, clicked here. There's a little magnifying glass. Click that, and that brings me to this page. They don't make it easy, frankly. This is currently a free account. Uh, I, I will bump up to a paid account with Sales Navigator and all that stuff for a month or two, get a ton of business out of it, and then, you know, I don't need it for a while. So there's no reason in paying that when I don't need it. But so I'm currently on a free account. And uh, let's look at filters. And I want you to see this. So first, second, and third 
level, okay, connections. And let's talk about this, this because mathematically, this right here is the heart and soul of how LinkedIn works. And in order to understand why I tell people what to do next in order to build out a big account, uh, an account that's actually going to work for you, you have to understand how LinkedIn works in the first place. So let me just pick out a name. Ake, I'm going to use your name. We got Ake Hedman. If I remember correctly, Ake, you live in Tennessee. I, I, I can't remember whether that's right or not. I, I think that's right. But anyway, awesome, awesome. By the way, whereabouts in Tennessee do you live? I, I, uh, uh, I love Tennessee. Uh, used to go to Nashville a whole lot. I have no idea where that is. <laughs> he said Paris, Tennessee. I knew there was a Paris, Texas, but I did not know that. Give me a big city where that's near. But anyway, so Ake and I, I think we're connected on LinkedIn. So in other words, we are direct connections. And if we are, then he is what you call a first tier or first level connection. It's a direct connection. Well, let's say Ake is connected to Steve. I'm just going to use your name, okay? So let's say Ake is connected to Steve, but I'm not connected to Steve, okay? Ake, I'm connected to Ake. Ake's connected to Steve, but I'm not connected to Steve. You got that? That makes Ake and Steve first level connections, but between Steve and me, we're second level or second tier connections. Now, let's use Matthew, because Matthew just put in some kind of comment about tennis or something. <laughs> well, I'll show you how to connect. Yeah, Steve, absolutely. Let, let, let's do connect. Uh, uh, you, you can actually find me easily, Lee Cole, L-E-E-C-O-L-E. -E -E. But uh, let's say Matthew, so, so we got Ake and me are, con we're directly connected. Ake's connected to Steve. And let's say Steve is connected to Matthew. But Ake's not connected to Matthew, and I'm not connected to Matthew. So that makes Matthew three steps away from me. So Ake's one step away from me, Steve's two steps away from me, and Matthew is three steps away from me. Now, let me show you some more stuff. Let's just click that, apply that little filter. Now look right here how many first level connections I have. It's about 6,100, okay? And then let's go back to, well, actually, we can do it right here. So somebody remember that number for me, 6,100. Matthew, can you remember 6,100 for me? As a matter of fact, I'm just going to write it in the chat right next to you. You'll be responsible for this number, okay? Matthew is responsible for the number 6,100. If we screw up, it's Matthew's fault. <laughs> awesome. Now, let's look at <laughs> the pressure. <laughs> yes. Hey, I read your Facebook post about your uh, about your 800. That that was awesome. I'm sorry you hurt yourself, but way to come back. But um, second tier connection, second tier connection. So now what what I'm going to look at here is I'm going to look at the number of people that are indirect connections. Look at that. 1.4 million indirect connections. Well, let's get out a little, uh, where the hell is it? Calculator. And so then we can kind of ballpark something here. So let me move these little boxes around so I can get to it. One, one million four hundred forty thousand and forty-two indirect connections divided by sixty-one hundred direct connections. Do y'all see what number I'm going to come up with? This this should be an average, right? You got it. That means on average, not everybody, but on average. Each of those people that I'm directly connected with is connected to 236 people. Now, we're not there yet, but but let, let me make sure you, I, I know this is math. I used to teach math, okay? I, I know what math feels like to people that don't like math, <laughs> okay? But 
it is so incredible. LinkedIn is mathematical the way it works, and it's so incredibly, incredibly important that you understand this stuff. Otherwise, amen to that. So Matthew says, through the indirect connections, I have multiplied my reach, the number of people that I can get hold of, by 236 times. Isn't that cool? Now, third level connections is going to expand even more. I mean, I got five, you know, five and a half million of those. They're not that important, though. Uh, why is that? I forgot. Darn it. Sorry about that. Why won't it let me do third? This is new. Well, third, look, forget third. Third, the third level is is really not that important, and I'll, I'll I'll show you why. Let's get back to second level. Okay, here we go. I'm not sure why that was showing second. Yeah, yeah. Matthew says, do you suppose it only allows level three for premium accounts? Could easily be. You know, Microsoft bought LinkedIn what a year and a half, two years ago, something like that, and since then, and I understand why. And and, and honestly, I'm not I'm not really against it. But uh, they're they're moving, they're they're diminishing the number of things you can do with the free account and pushing those into the paid accounts. Okay. Having said that, you know, Sales Navigator is only like eighty bucks a month or something like that. I'm not looking at a pricing chart for that right now. But if you're using this for prospecting for a business, it is well worth 80 bucks a month. So, so I have no problem with them doing this because Sales Navigator and all that has a ton of really cool stuff in it that you can use. But, and every time I turn around, there there's yet another functionality and a free account that's been taken away. But it's all good. I totally understand. Now, where am I going with this? Let's go to let's go to first level of people. I have you know I have no idea who most of these people are. Although that name does seem familiar. So here's a person that I'm connected to. Say see, see it says first. So so that's a direct or first tier connection. Here's a person I'm connected to, Sandra. And uh, look what I can do. Looks like Sandra has messaged me about something. Okay. But, whoa, hello. My LinkedIn software. Okay. So, uh, but anyway. Uh, see, I can message Sandra directly. The there's no BS. There, there's nothing standing in the way from me actually having a conversation with Sandra. So looking at those numbers, I have 6,100 people that I can have a conversation with right now. Okay, just message them. Uh, you can uh, download your first level connections plus all the information that comes with them. You can download those. You can... Uh, um, I, I re I've seen this a lot lately. The, the, this, this thing is rearing its ugly head again of people downloading their connections and putting them in autoresponders and then emailing pe out to people. I've, I've gotten several emails from people that are connected with me. That's very Bush League. That is very Bush League on LinkedIn. Nothing screams total amateur fill in a couple of more blanks than doing that. Okay. So, I mean, you're welcome to do it. I just don't pay attention to the email myself. It doesn't make me mad because, you know, it's none of my business what you do. But if you want to be successful on LinkedIn, don't do that. That's stupid. But so the first level connection, see, now this gets into how we use LinkedIn. The first level connections, you can message them. Here's, here's this lady, Sandra. I can message her and looks like she messaged me back and we can have a conversation. So for prospect now, now, now put on your, put on your sales and prospecting hat for prospecting purposes. I want to get a lot of people into first level connections and I want to get the people that I want to prospect to 
move them up into first level connections because that way I can just message them whenever I want to. You understand? Okay, somebody say, Lee, I understand so far. We're not done. I just need some feedback because webinars are kind of weird. I'm kind of like I'm talking to a computer. So do you understand so far? First level connections, good. Those people, you can just message all day long if you want. Hi, Sandra, how are you doing? Hey, Sandra, I got this. Uh, she was asking me about some of their software. Hey, Sandra, I got this cool new piece of software I thought you might be interested in. By the way, Sandra, uh, I've opened up a new coaching program. And if Sandra ran a local business, by the way, uh, notice that your uh, your website uh, uh, you know, had some issues when it came to blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. We can fix that for you. Just hit me up and let me know, that kind of thing. You can do all of that through messaging. So that's how, that's why the first level connections are so important. But so the big question, and this was the, this, this, this was the root of the question uh, uh, that I got in support, actually a couple of questions, but they all boiled down to this was, how do you reach out to people and build up that big account? Because you can have up to, I think it's 30, it used to be 30,000. I don't know if they changed it. I have no reason to believe that they changed it. I just haven't looked recently because I'm nowhere near the end. But you can have up to 30,000 first level connections on LinkedIn. Real different from Facebook, where I think the top is 5,000. So how do, you, how do you go find those people? How do you move them? You know, how do you move them up those levels? Three, two, one into, uh, into first tier connections. And especially, how do you use that to target a market that you're interested in selling to? So those are a whole bunch of questions I want to touch on in the rest of this webinar. Let's go back here. And do you notice that by their names, it says message? See how it says message right here? See, see, I don't even have to go look at, I mean, I probably would go look at their profile because I, I don't go around remembering who 6,000 people are. But uh, Marianne Sanders is a referral partner at Send Out Cards. Send Out Cards is a, a very successful network marketing company. Let's say I wanted to get Marianne interested in something, some software we got, some coaching, whatever. Uh, the, Steve says the limit is still 30,000. That's a ton of people. I mean, if you can't make money <laughs> being able to reach out to 30,000 people, you might want to consider something else. But uh, if I want to talk to Marianne, look, bam, here I am talking to Marianne, right? Send out, send out a message. <clears throat> Excuse me. No, no. As we say in the South, who shot John about it? See, it's right there available for me. Now, that's the first level or direct level connections. Now, let's go back here and let's look at these guys. Now, these are my indirect or second level connections. So I'm connected with someone who is connected to, <laughs> to Richard. Matthew, I just read that. That was funny. I'm connected to someone who's connected to Richard, but I'm not connected to Richard directly. Notice this. See, where with uh, the people on the previous screen that were my first level connections, these all said message. This says connect. I can't really message Richard right off the bat. <clears throat> now let's go look at his profile. Is one of the, what was it, 1.4 million people that I'm indirectly connected with? President of a consulting company? Yeah, I, 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 I would agree. I would agree. Richard at Lionheart Branding and Consulting. I, I think that's a beautiful name. I'm, I'm, I'm loving that. Uh, this is the kind of guy I like to be connected with and do business to with, right? I mean, the... This, this guy looks like a real mover and shaker. Let's see, uh, operations director for some company, President Lineheart Branding, general manager of whatever this company is, Luxury Motors, you know, businessman, successful person. I, I like people like this. They spend money. 
with me. But look, watch, watch those. Message members outside your direct network like Richard with LinkedIn Premium. So, uh-oh, with my free account there, which is currently free, they're not going to let me do that, right? And, um, but I can connect with them. Okay, so so I can try to bring Richard into the fold. I basically, I'm trying to bring Richard up to a first level connection now. So we're going to send him a connect request. Let's find some sort of commonality. He's in Atlanta. I live in Atlanta. And look, don't stress out about this. Don't don't sit around and read this too much. You'll you'll waste too much time. But hi, Richard. So let's do this. Add a note. Hope you're well. Thought we should connect uh, since we're in the same geographical area and potentially related businesses late make sure you get the guy's name right hope you're well thought we should connect since we're in the same geographical area and potentially related businesses you know i mean just take your best shot right send the invitation okay now i don't know if he's going to accept it but you know i th i think uh I mean, it's just rough figuring. I measured this uh, a few years ago, but I hadn't measured it in a long time because I don't need to, okay? But, uh, salad. <laughs> but oh, God. Uh, Matthew, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to prevent you from making witty statements like that in the future. It gets me off, gets me off my game. But anyway, so my point being, I think I've got about a 50 or, you know, overall, I got about a 40 or 50% chance that he'll accept that connection and I'll have yet another person that I'm connected to. Which, now, think about the beauty of this. So, Richard becomes a first-tier connection, which means I can message him all day long. So, if I see him as a potential prospect, I now have the ability to message him. But even more importantly, even more importantly, all of his connections. I can't remember whether it tells us. I, 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 yeah, yeah, we can't figure out how many connections he's got. A guy like this is going to have a ton of connections. Okay, so it says five hundred plus. I mean, it could be like me, six thousand, right? But even more importantly, all of his direct connections become my indirect connections, which massively increases the number of people that I can send connect requests to. So here's how it all works out with LinkedIn. And th th this is what you want to do. Now, there's more stuff you need to do, your profile and stuff like that, because invariably Richard's going to end up checking out my profile to see who that Lee Cole is, right? All right. So, um, you know, the profiles like a sales letter and all that stuff. And we've talked about that stuff in the past. But uh, in terms of building your network, in terms of being able to reach out to a target audience, this is how you do it. You don't do it. Uh, one of the questions I had, which, which kind of turned me on to this idea of talking to you about this. Somebody was saying, well, they don't have enough in mails and in mail basically allows you to connect with people you to send a connect request or basically it's like an email okay within linkedin but it allows you to message people who are not connected with you or who are not uh, at least a second level connection but with a free account i think you get only get like 30 in mails per month you can buy more but they're fairly expensive and that's a really expensive way for you to be building your business out. Now, yeah, if you worked for like a large corporate um, um, headhunting firm, you know, uh, something like that, they, they probably buy those things. Some people have told me that they buy those things in bulk and they probably get a bulk price from LinkedIn. And you could do that. But, you know, people on my webinars, 
you know, you're not working for a big corporation and you don't have uh, like massive amounts of money to uh, to just, you know, frankly, piss away on stuff like Enmail, right? And so you really, I mean, you can do that, but look, think about it like this. I just told you that I have about a 50% chance of this guy, Richard, accepting my connect request. This is just stati statistically speaking. It may be slightly more 60, something like that. It's not 90, all right? So so let's say it's 50. Then out of 30 in-mails, this means that you grow your account by whopping 15 people per month with free account. That's stupid. You need to be growing your account much, much faster than that. Now, I'm, I'm going to leave you with some steps to do that. And Matthew, you're totally right about this. In-mails are just weird. I mean, they're totally cold. You don't know who the person is. So yeah, you know, let's let's say you went to some, um, you know, some trade show or something like that, and met somebody from another company that uh, you know was in in business related to yours. You really wanted to be connected to them on LinkedIn. Um, uh, you for for whatever reason you weren't a first or second or even a third tier connection. They they were just off your radar. Yeah, I mean that that would be a proper use of an email of, of of an email is to send that person an email say, hey Bob, met you at the thus and so convention in you know San Diego, and just want to make sure that we actually did connect. That would be a great use of that. But to build a, out a LinkedIn account, it's really not going to work. Okay, it's not it's not going to work for you guys. Uh, the way to do it is the way the way I'm showing you to do it. So marching orders here. If you want to build out a big LinkedIn account, it's not that hard. See, it says invites. Um, I also get the question of, well, how do I know that I sent Richard an invite? Because it says invite sent. So, so you're not going to inadvertently over the next two weeks be hammering this guy just because he happened to land at the top of the, of the list. Okay. So, the, you know, LinkedIn prevents you from doing that. So this is what you want to do. All right. Until your first level connections, the minimum number, minimum is 500 that you want. Because remember when we looked at this guy? It says 500. If you look at me, now I'm logged in, so it'll it'll show me my connections. But if, if you, not logged in as me, looked at me, it'd say 500, but yet I'm at 6,000 plus. Okay, so... Um, Hang on a minute. Let, let, let me show you something here. Well, I'm not sure I'm going to find that particular filter. So let, let, let's just wrap it up like this. So this is what you want to do. You want to get your first level, first tier connections above 500. Don't do anything else until you do that. And quite frankly, everybody knows enough people to at least get 20 or 30. All right. I mean, just just you know, reach out to those people. I mean, you get 30 in mail. So I mean, let, let let's say you start at zero. You just you're a baby, you just hatched. You you've got a brand new account connected to no one, right? So you get 30 in mails. So start sending your in mails to people who actually will connect with you, and then you'll have 30 connections. But those 30, let's say they're connected to 200 people on average themselves. So now you got 30 times 200, 6,000 indirect connections to start out with. That's a bunch. Okay, so those 6,000 indirect connections, you can do this. You can search by these filters you can get these indirect connections right here and you can start connecting with them and what you need to do is you need to just set out a routine to connect with i would say anywhere from 30 to about 50 a day all right varying the numbers a little bit 39 42 47 you know 35 something like that i mean i wouldn't i wouldn't stress out about it but you know probably going to look weird if you do 38 every day. All right. And uh, 
So to get to 500, that would mean you need to send out a thousand connections. And let's say you sent out, oh, for easy figuring this time, let's say 500. So what? That's going to take you uh, 20 days. So in 20 days, you can get to 500. All right. Well, that means in a couple of months, you're going to get to the what what to me is the magic number, because every time somebody does this, uh, it life just becomes a lot easier on LinkedIn, which is to get to about 2000 direct connections. So when you get to 2000 direct connections, well, just think those 2000 are they're all connected to uh, 200 people. So that's going to be what? Four million ish, something like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this in my head, okay? And and the numbers, I'm sitting here thinking the numbers don't actually add up to, to what my numbers add up to. Anybody. But anyway, at 2,000 connections, you're going to be connected to a ton of folks. And when you're connected, and, and this, if you sit down and do this every day, the, this operation is not going to take you but about 20 minutes once you get going. Then in a couple of months, you're going to have 2,000 first-tier connections. And you're going to have like, you know, I don't know, half a million to a million second tier connections. And then at that point, you can start using some of these other filters. Now, granted, they pulled out a lot of this stuff. OK, they, they pulled out a lot of this functionality, but we do have locations. OK, industries aren't really that helpful. Uh, I would say location is about about the most helpful thing you have here. And you can start connecting to people in specific industries. Now, I'm doing this all from the point of view of a free account. You you really want to go with this if you really want to go with, you know, go with this, then, uh, uh, you know, if you really want to go big with this, then, yeah, I, I think you should. When you've got the money, I don't, I don't think you should spend money that you don't have personally, but when you got the money, then I um, um, think you should probably get Sales Navigator. But but I'm speaking from the point of view of, uh, of a, a free account. So that's how you build out an account. You don't do it with mails. You do it uh, in, a, in, in a very mathematical, logical way, because what you're trying to do, you're trying to build the numbers up big enough so that your LinkedIn account becomes a real resource for your prospecting, okay? And it's just not going to be until you're, uh, you just minimum you have to have 500 first-tier connections. Otherwise, you just kind of look stupid. But uh, I would say really for it to start working, LinkedIn's really, really started working very well for me somewhere between about 1,000 and 2,000 first level connections. Okay. So that's how LinkedIn actually works. Uh, Frederick, yeah, I've heard that. Frederick says there's a lifetime 5,000 requests. Uh, you know, I, I I don't think that LinkedIn actually enforces that. Uh, they really couldn't have because the only way that I got up to 6,000, uh, so so Frederick, let, let, let's say 1,000 of those 6,000 that I have reached out to me because, I mean, I, okay, every, every time I log, log in, there, there are a few people reaching out to me, okay? But it's not enough to build it up to 6,000, right? I mean, I purposefully built my account up to, well, I just sat down for a few weeks and built my account up to about somewhere between two and 3,000 by doing exactly what I'm telling you, okay? By doing exactly what I'm telling you, uh, and uh, I would have had to have blown way past that 5,000 number, yeah. I, so... Yeah, I, I know that they say that, and I know that that's, you know, like on the internet that there's a 5,000 number, and it's probably in LinkedIn's uh, own literature on their website, et cetera. But I swear that just mathematically, they, they can't be enforcing that. I suspect it's there, that 5,000 thing is suspect it's there just trying to um, corral people who are using software for doing stuff and stuff like that because LinkedIn really really frowns on software they're 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 getting less lenient 
about outside software being used with LinkedIn, not more lenient. And it makes total sense, Frederick and everybody else, because uh, LinkedIn, Microsoft's the parent company, they want to push you to, toward using Sales Navigator, right? Yeah. And Matthew, you're absolutely right. Right. They, they don't want LinkedIn to become just crap like Twitter. I mean, I'm, I've read that like half the, I've, I've read like half the, <laughs> like half of the, <laughs> Beth, I was just laughing at you. I read that like half the accounts on Twitter are just bots. Uh, it would not surprise me if it's way more than half. LinkedIn wants these accounts to be all real people. That is extremely important to us because when you think about it, they've got over a half a billion with a B LinkedIn accounts. And you think about how the import of the fact that those are probably virtually all real people and we've got like 7.5 billion people on this planet, you realize that potentially you could connect with one out of maybe 18, 19, or 20 people on this planet through LinkedIn, that's mind-boggling when you think about it. But but that it, it has that power because LinkedIn polices, you know, the network. And uh, uh, one of the ways they police it is uh, by controlling software. So, uh, so the old-fashioned way is the way you really, really build out an account. And not only that, but, you know, sitting down, messaging people, uh, doing it in a manual way. I mean, it, that, that seems so not internet markety, right? Aren't we supposed to use software to do everything? Except that's what LinkedIn wants. And that's really what the people, I re remember this is not just a giant bunch of computers all hooked up. I mean, at the end of this, like that guy, Richard, at the end of this, they're real human beings like you and me. Those are the people that are going to become potentially your clients, real people. O only a real person can pay you money, right? So you got to think about what do they want? I mean, do they want some copy and paste thing, even if it's, you know, all cool and artificial intelligency and all that bullshit. No, they don't want that. You can spot that a mile away. They don't want that. What they want is a real person that they want to do business with who's selling a product or service that they think is going to help them or their company. They want a real life person to do business with. So, so if you get it down on a personal level, LinkedIn's the greatest prospecting tool God ever invented. Seriously. So it's amazing. Yes. I mean, it's, and it's at least at the level we're looking at, it's currently free. So to get going on it, it's free. Okay. So I've talked for 40 minutes. Uh, I wanted to cover again for a lot of, cause I know a lot of people are confused about this, how we use LinkedIn. Does anybody have like one last pressing question that I can answer fast? Cause I kind of hate to just answer one question. But let's see if we can get another one in real fast. I'm going to give you like 45 seconds to type something in or until I get bored. <laughs> To niche or not to niche? So, Matthew, um, let me just see if I can answer that. And I'm thinking I'm uh, pretty sure I know what you mean. There, okay, so we're talking about first tier connections. I tell you what, Matthew, let me take a shot at it. And if I don't do well, if it, you know, if it needs fleshing out some more, would you please answer, ask this next time at the beginning of the webinar? Because this is a remarkably important question, remarkably important, guys, because I, I know a lot of people are really confused about this. So what Matthew is basically asking, and Matthew, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure I understand what you're asking. Um, as you're building out your account, let let Let's say that I'm selling video marketing to local businesses and uh, 
Oh, let's just use something even more garden variety. I'm selling press releases to local businesses and local business professionals. And I really want to focus in on the financial services type businesses, accountants, uh, uh, tax people, uh, you know, people that help you invest your money and all that stuff. Well, if I'm going to sell to those people on LinkedIn, then I need to be connected to them, right? I mean, I just explained why, because it's only the first tier connections that I can really message. So the question is, so so I want a bunch of those and don't pay attention to that guy. That's my dog. I can't say his name because if I say his name, he'll think that I'm talking to him and start going crazy. He's just... Um, He's basically playing with a cat who's on the other side of the door. <laughs> so, uh, bring him out of the way. No, we, we don't want to pay attention to him. He, he's, he's a giant pup, three-year-old puppy. He gets out of control fast. But anyway, so at some point, okay, let's go with the financial services thing. At some point, you're going to need a bunch of those people as first-tier connections in order to reach out to those people in order to get them on a, you know, Zoom call, get them on a sales presentation, it's better, right? I mean, you're going to have to do that. So if you're going to use LinkedIn for, if, if you and your business are going to focus on, an, on a niche, notice how I said with the UK, you know, I didn't say niche like we do in the United States, you know, on a niche, then as you're going through the process that I just explained to you, you're going to have to be aware of who's in a financial services type uh, position. You're going to have to work on bringing them up to first tier connections. And the more of those guys you got as first tier connections, the better off you're going to be because you'll be able to message them and, you know, sell them stuff. Right. So the question there is, how do you start out? Okay. So, so how do you start out? So let's, let's say I've got, my account, I've got uh, 180 people as my first tier connections. In other words, diddly squat. And um, do I just want to try to build that account out with financial services people? Or do I want to just build it out with whomever, whomever I can, you know, um, 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 reach out to and connect with? And then later on, try to connect with more financial services people? Well, the, the answer to my mind is the latter, okay? Yep, yep. Matthew, I think really, Matthew, would please ask this again because I, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling rushed here and I, I would like to talk about this for a good 30 or 40 minutes because this is really critical. But really, so the short answer, guys, the short answer is when you're building your account from the get-go when you have a small account you've seen my numbers that's fairly large uh, 500s kind of small a thousand or two thousand is when stuff can really start happening for you so when when you're building out your account you want to connect with whomever just anybody anybody will connect with you because you want to bring their direct connections into the fold so that they become indirect connections for you Okay, and we looked at the math behind that. But later on, you definitely want to start focusing in on a niche. The part I'm leaving out here, frankly, is in your business, in your business. Uh, and, and it really matters about what you're selling and how you're selling stuff. But in, in the world of LinkedIn and in your business, should you focus on a specific niche or not? And that's the part where I'm feeling really rushed and I'm feeling like if I just leave you with this question, then I won't give you the full answer. So let's do this. Matthew's agreed to be on the webinar uh, next week and he's going to ask us this right at the beginning. Hey, hit me, hit me up with that one next week also about how to upload a video to LinkedIn. I'll talk about uh, native LinkedIn videos and all that stuff. Those are fabulous. So we got some great questions to look forward to next week. I won't be rushed. I'll be, I'll be thinking about it during the week and, you know, be, be a little more cogent. But cool beans. We got it, guys. Q&A webinar number three now in the books. Um, just give me a little while and we'll get it uploaded to where you can see it on um, the playlist on, on YouTube. Subscribe to my channel. There's a ton of stuff on that channel. Subscribe to it. You'll get notified of all the stuff. And... Thank you very much. I really enjoyed the webinar. I really, thank you, Ake. <laughs> I just read that.
I just read that. Thank you guys so much. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, see y'all next week. Y'all have a good day.